Hello friends, my name is Satya Narayan and today we are going to take a look at analytical reasoning. This is one of the important type of questions which can come in number series. So what exactly do you mean by a series? Well, a series is nothing but a pattern of items which can be observed. We see a lot of series in and around us in nature itself. So what are the typical series which can come in an entrance examinations? Well, the first and the simplest kind of series which can come is something called a number based series. So take a look at this example. If you know the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, automatically we can say that the next few numbers must be 5, 6, 7 and so on. Simple right? And given a series of numbers like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 automatically we know that the answers must be 35, 40, 45 and so on. Nothing great in this. The second kind of series which may come in an examination is a series based on letters of the English alphabet. Let us take a very simple series to understand what I mean. Given the letters A, B, C, D and E, we automatically know that the next few must be F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M and so on. Or given the letters A, C, E, G and I, we know that the next couple of letters must be K, M and so on. The third kind of series which may come in an entrance examination is series based on symbols. Take a look at this example. If you can understand the pattern which is being followed in the first five given symbols, we can identify that E must be my answer option. But more on this later. Today we are going to concentrate on number series. So let us take the simplest kind of number series which is the addition based series. Now given the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, we quickly identify that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Now this is a very simple plus 1 series where I am just adding 1 to a number to get the next one. So following the same logic, 6 plus 1 gives me 7, 7 plus 1 gives me 8 and 8 plus 1 gives me 9. So the numbers which fill in these blanks are obviously 7, 8 and 9. Pretty simple, right? Okay. So to reinforce the concept, let us take one more example. Now here we can very easily identify that 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 3 is equal to 15 and 15 plus 3 is equal to 18 which means this is a simple plus 3 series so 18 plus 3 gives me 21 21 plus 3 gives me 24 and 24 plus 3 gives me 27 that means 21 24 and 27 are the numbers which fill in the blanks extremely simple now take a look at this particular example. Here very quickly we can identify that 99 minus 4 gives me 95. 95 minus 4 gives me 91. 91 minus 4 gives me 87. 87 minus 4 gives me 83. And 83 minus 4 gives me 79. So this is a minus 4 series. Now remember whether we talk of addition or subtraction it's basically the same mathematical operation because a minus b can also be written as a plus negative b so following the same logic we can quickly identify that 79 minus 4 gives me 75 75 minus 4 gives me 71 and 71 minus 4 gives me 67 which means 75 71 and 67 fill in the three blanks. So this is an example of how a very basic addition series can be formed. Now let us take a look at a couple of variations. 
In this example, you can quickly identify that 7 plus 1 gives you 8, 8 plus 2 gives you 10, 10 plus 3 gives you 13, 13 plus 4 gives you 17, 17 plus 5 gives you 22 and 22 plus 6 gives you 28. We are adding the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in sequence. So continuing the same logic, I should be able to identify that 28 plus 7 gives me the next number 35, 35 plus 8 gives me the next number 43 and 43 plus 9 gives me the next number 52 which means the numbers which fill in the blanks must be 35, 43 and 52. Simple. Now let us take at one more look at one more variation. In this example you should be able to identify that 4 plus 5 gives you 9, 5 plus 9 gives you 14, 9 plus 14 gives me 23, 14 plus 23 gives me 37 and 23 plus 37 gives me 60. So what am I doing? I'm adding the first two numbers to get the third, the second and the third to get the fourth, the third and the fourth to get the fifth and so on. So following the same logic, 37 plus 60 gives me the next number 97 and 60 plus 97 gives me the final answer 157. So 97 and 157 it is. Now if you take a look at this particular series we get the difference as 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 3 is equal to 11, then 11 plus 1 is 12, 12 plus 3 is equal to 15, 15 plus 1 is equal to 16 and 16 plus 3 is equal to 19. So I am alternatively adding the numbers 1 and 3. Following the same logic I get 19 plus 1 is equal to 20 and 20 plus 3 is equal to 23. So the two numbers which fill in the blanks are 20 and 23. Now if you want to take a look at one more example, take a look at this particular series. We'll first try to identify the difference between the numbers. So 110 plus 1 is 111, 111 plus 1 is 112, 112 plus 4 is 116, 116 plus 8 is equal to 124, 124 plus 9 is equal to 133. Now if you take a look at the numbers being added 1, 1, 4, 8 and 9. What is the first thing which comes to my mind? Mm, yes, 1 is also 1 square and similarly it is also the cube of 1. 4 is the square of 2 and 8 is the cube of 2. 9 is the square of 3. So following the same logic I should be adding the cube of 3 that is 27 to 133 to get 160 as the next number and after that following the same logic if I add the square of 4 which is 16 to 160 I get 176 as the last number. So remember an addition series can easily be, be recognized by looking at the speed at which the numbers change their size. If you take a look at the series 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and so on, the numbers are changing their size uniformly. So I hope you got an idea of what is meant by an addition series in number series. Let us take a quick recap of what we did today. We understood what is addition series. We took a look at few examples where we add the same number again and again to get the next one. We also took a look at a series where the numbers being added themselves follow a certain pattern. We took a look at series where we alternately add two numbers. Remember the example plus one, plus three, plus one, plus three and so on. 
and finally we took a look where there is a pattern which is not so obvious as in the squares and the cubes example my name is satya narayan i hope you had a good time understanding addition based series which is a part of number series in analytical reasoning have a good day thank you very much